we will be discussing the sixth problem the sixth problem journalize the following transactions in the books of atmaram so for the month of january 2014 we have the first transaction on so problem is six the first transaction is on jan 1st as you know 2014 for the first transaction is normal we have seen it is starter business with 25000 so the business is getting cash real account is coming in so debit what comes in so cash account debit who is the giver the businessman so businessman will always refer with the word capital and being a personal account he is the giver so we credit capital account the amount being 25000 so your narration would be being business started with capital or with cash whatever may be the next transaction is on 3rd jan purchased computer it's printed as 150 but probably it is 15000 but it doesn't matter we'll take it as 150000 so the transaction is purchase of computer 150000 so it is on 3rd january the second transaction is on 3rd january so it is purchase of computer so the name of an item is specified so it is an asset so computer is a real account so it is when we are buying the computer is coming into the business so real account the rule is debit what comes in so we debit computer account and we we, we, we might have paid cash for it so cash is again real account so cash is real account which is going out when we are buying computer so we credit cash based on the rule of crediting a real account when it goes out so 150000 is the value your narration would be being purchase of computer the next transaction is on 6th jan purchase of goods or purchased goods amount being 6000 so 6th is the date goods being real account you are buying them so we will be using the word purchases again re recalling the rule of real account we are debiting purchases because goods are coming in so purchases account debit now what we are going to credit naturally you would have paid cash cash is real account again and it is going out so credit what goes out so therefore we are crediting cash the amount being 6000 now the next transaction is on 7th jan with reference to purchases of goods from mahesh so purchase of goods from mahesh is naturally on credit it as it is stated already there so we take the 7th jan transaction and if you analyze we are getting goods goods are coming in real account is coming in therefore we debit purchases which is real account and representing goods so purchases account debit now we did not pay cash but we have we will pay the cash on a later date to whom we will pay mahesh and mahesh is the giver of the goods so he comes under personal account so personal account rule credit the giver so mahesh is the giver of the goods therefore we are crediting mahesh's account so your journal entry is purchases account debit to mahesh account 5000 your narration being goods purchased on credit now next transaction if you see is on 10th jan and it says that purchased goods for 5000 and paid by check so you have purchased goods for 5000 you are paying immediately but how you are paying you are giving a check therefore we can consider it as a cash transaction only but the amount is being paid through check so let us analyze this transaction of 10th we have goods coming in real account coming in as a result we are debiting purchases account so purchases account debit then how we are making the payment we are making the payment through check check means ultimately bank will pay the money so bank will be the giver of the money so bank is coming under category of personal account so what will bank do later it will give the money so 
being a personal account it is the giver so personal account rule credit the giver as a result we are crediting the bank so your journal entry being purchases account debit 5000 to bank account 5000 narration being being goods purchased and check issued